Hello. So this is Enner. Um, this is made by Soma, Soma Labs. Um, this is kind of like, how do you explain the unexplainable? Um, so we'll do this uh, as much as possible, and then this sort of is like intended for you to experiment on and find your own ways. Um, so this is a body patching synth, which means that your body is the patch cables. Uh, so it is you know, technically electricity coming through your fingers. The website does have a warning about that. Um, if you're sensitive, I don't feel a thing. Uh, so I can say it's safe for me. I don't know what to say. You know, some if you have an electrical sensitivity, maybe this is something to avoid. Um, this synth is um, developed with Dutch artist Sistor. And it's just really cool. It's sort of like you know, we're going to take the next step past the Lyra and do something that's like even more complex. It's got some aspects of the Pulsar and the, some aspects of the Lyra, but it's really its own thing. Uh, so let's get started. Um, middle section, this is your output section here, and the bottom is a noise generator. Uh, you also have an external uh, input here, so you can plug whatever and process uh, it through this. Uh, right side is more of synth based. This is more of like a Lyra section where there's some ring modulation and FM modulation. Uh, left side's a little more, this is a little more pulsar um, where you're dealing with the output of this uh, rhythmic subdivider here. Um, and then we have a piezo pickup inside. So this is actually can work as a drum. Okay. Uh, some things to think about. Uh, it comes with a spring, so we can do some sound designy kinds of stuff. Uh, they also include some rubber bands, so we can experiment with that a little bit. Um, one thing I really love is that this output section is split between left and right, uh, so you can do all kinds of you know, more West Coast types of approaches to things where you're playing with the sound field. And as you can hear, you've got different filters. Uh, so this is sort of low pass, right and left. We've got sort of low mid, high mid, high and high pass. Okay, and then we have direct. So that's a full range and delay. Delay is controlled over here with these knobs. And we have delay, this is delay output. We also have delay input, so you can set up feedback loops here. Okay, really cool. Uh, some uses. Uh, we can do some sort of pulse drumming here. Each one of these pads is sort of going to be a different subdivision of what's happening with the tempo up here. Okay, and you can do really fun click drum types of stuff. So really fun for sound design -y types of stuff. And you can connect pads together. Um, like all great Soma Labs instruments, we have lots of control over the delay. So I'm pushing the top two triangles. I have separate right and left time. feedback knob and it goes to an, it goes to 11 and I have modulation which also goes to 11 uh, right side of the synth is more um, FM based more tones We've got a master tune down here at the bottom, so this changes all five oscillators. You've got five oscillators here. One, two, 
One, two, three, four, five. Each one has its own tuning here. You've got ring modulation. So this is one and two together. Two and three. Three and three. Then this top row is modulation. Uh, I don't know if this is intentional or not, but these knobs are electric. So you don't even have to touch the pad. Like I've found that, you know, I can activate synth voice one here. And if I touch a knob for another synth voice, it becomes live. Um, these modulations kind of have both a pitch and a filter effect. Um, strangely enough, if you listen, here's synth voice one. There's modulation two. Kind of a filter effect happening. There's some pitch modulation happening there. Uh, and then Synth Voice 5 is sort of a special case. You have two separate modulation um, inputs for Voice 5. And you can actually hear that it's really changing the pitch. And then this is sort of a minus 12 volts, I think, that's connected to this modulation button for so. okay uh, so really lots of cool stuff um, this is a great live synth because you can sort of make an entire sound field by yourself um, I, this combined with like a delay or re reverb pedal is going to give you all you need um, you might not even need the delay or reverb because you can sort of get stuff happening. Okay, so that's quick demonstration. If you find this interesting, please leave a comment or a like. Let me know if you want me to show some more stuff about this. Um, otherwise, happy hunting if you have one of these. They're like hours of fun, um, and you can make some really interesting music and really effective soundscapes. <laughs>